busy, busy morning, ladies and gentlemen. Apologize for the later than normal upload. 20 in a row. This is day 20 in a row. I'm not even trying to do this. Hit that subscribe button if you appreciate the fact that I've, been, I've uploaded 20 videos in 20 days. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, we're back. We have another video. We're going to talk about some stuff. Eric's YouTube highlights playing in the background. Check him out. Let's dive right into it. I got a message from GM, the GM Golf team about my Corinna comments recently. And we're going to discuss it. I'm going to read you guys a message, give you the context to it, kind of why it happened. A little bit of the pre-story. Obviously, we've been covering the whole story around Garrett starting to vlog, the emergence of what seems like another content house, in his own words, at Good Good, everyone moving down there, Brad, Ben, all these guys moving down to Dallas, a lot of them moving into the house. Steve starting to vlog, Garrett vlogging, Matt vlogging now, like there's just vlogs everywhere. And it just all seems like very interesting timing. Garrett, Renna, who was one of the biggest parts of the biggest vlogging squad of all time, the vlog squad, David Dobrik's vlog squad. He comes into her life, into their videos, and then boom, everyone's starting to vlog and they have a content house. You can see where my mind probably went to maybe some influence from Corinna into that happening. Well, I've gotten some corrections. I've gotten some uh, information to share with you guys, some kind of direct response information. We're gonna say from a member of the GM Golf team, uh, name might sound a little bit like Schmeider, uh, has sent me some information that I can share with you guys. So we're gonna get into it. Um, basically, Corinna has zero influence in Garrett vlogging. He himself starting vlogging or the way he edits, etc. Just an FYI, heard you mention it in your videos a couple times. All right. All right, all right, Schmeider. So that's, I mean, that's an interesting nugget. Now, I definitely have said all of those things, that that was my guess and that was my speculation because of all the reasons I just outlined. However, I accept that and that's awesome. And he actually went on to say another little tidbit that I asked him, I was like, well, what was the impetus for Garrett start vlogging? And he said that he was told by Garrett that he was just driving back from the airport one early morning, morning and suddenly got the urge to. I don't think he has any long-term direction slash plan for it, just kind of having fun with it for now. So, I mean, very interesting information about the vlogging development for him. But again, nevertheless, I, I just, I think it's interesting that they're the timing of this whole thing. Now, again, Garrett starting the vlogging, whatever, him not influenced by Corinna, fine. But, I mean, I would be surprised if he isn't taking maybe some sort of advice or at least like, you know, asking her questions that if he isn't, he should be. Cause like she literally had the first hand with everything that went down with the vlog squad. Now Garrett, young guy, grew up probably watching Dobrik vlogs, probably watching Casey vlogs, kind of saw that vlogging generation come through. And so his style may be indirectly influenced, but he's doing a great job of that like faster paced kind of laugh track editing, I like to call it. It's like it's very highlight focused. Everything is a little bit louder, a little bit in your face. It's not like calm talking to the camera. Everything's like, okay guys, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then you fast cut to someone like kind of talking fast and excited and whatever. It's very, very good attention holding. Like I have a very hard time clicking off his vlogs early. Like I typically watch them almost all the way through. And that's something that Dobrik was the best at in the world. His videos were only four minutes and 20 seconds. Garrett's are typically over the eight minute mark now, but nevertheless, that same kind of laugh track style has been formed. So it's interesting. I think it's cool information I wanted to share with you guys. I like to be as transparent with you guys as possible. When I find something out, especially if it's about something I've been talking about, I want to share it with you guys. But one other thing I find a little interesting is again, just the emergence now of the alternate vlogs coming out. You know, Steven taught, if you watch Garrett's last video, Steven has tried to film three vlogs, didn't have audio in any of them. So I think he's gonna be a little bit delayed in putting those out. But Matt's obviously uploaded another video to his channel kind of recently. It is cool, man. They have this opportunity to create the most amount of content, to push the most amount of content. And if they're able to do it, great. If it's not taking away from everything else they're doing, great. And I personally, it's, it's, it's the content I really like to see. It's the stuff you don't get to see in their golf videos. It's accessory, it's alternative. It's really, really cool. But anyways, guys, that's the news. Quick hit for you on a Friday. I'll keep it short and to the point. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.